Men have always used science to try to justify why they're better than women. The latest example? An anti-diversity screed by ex-Google software engineer James Damore. Actually, the memo was in favor of diversity. I strongly believe in gender and racial diversity, and I think we should strive for more. Within the memo, James Demore said that he was against diversity quotas. Programs, monitoring, and classes only for people with a certain gender or race. A high priority and special treatment for diversity candidates. Hiring practices which can effectively lower the bar for diversity candidates by decreasing the false negative rates. Reconsidering any set of people if it's not diverse enough. These practices are based on false assumptions generated by our biases and actually can increase race and gender tensions. To sit here and say that the guy is against diversity is a straw man. Women have higher anxiety and lower stress tolerance. On the page that she quoted from, he basically goes into detail on why women have different personalities than men. Yet again, another straw man. Men have a higher drive for status than women do. Which is true. Men on average tend to have higher paying positions because of personal choices. Biological differences such as prenatal testosterone could explain the gender gap in tech. You took that quotation out of context. At Google, we're regularly told that unconscious and explicit biases are holding women back in tech and leadership. But it's far from the whole story. On average, men and women biologically different in many ways. They're universal across human cultures. They often have clear biological causes and links to prenatal testosterone. Biological males that are castrated at birth and raised as females often still identify and act like males. Note, I am not saying that all men differ from women in the following ways or that these differences are just. I'm simply stating that the distribution of preferences and ability of men and women differ in part due to biological causes and that these differences may explain why we don't see equal representation of women in tech and leadership. He's basically saying that both men and women have different job preferences and not stating either way that it's good or bad. Is it me or that straw men tend to be the repeated theme here? These are just some of the bullshit arguments Damore wrote in his letter. I'm sorry, but his arguments are not bullshit. They are a reflection of reality. I find it so amusing that so many people on the far left, they love science for evolution and for climate change, yet somehow, when it comes down to biological differences, they kind of just reject the science there. It's almost as if they have some sort of bias against the science that they want to not have. And it's the same pseudoscience peddled by eugenicists and white supremacists for decades. Because pointing out differences between men and women is the exact same thing as saying that niggers are inferior to white people. This line of reasoning is just so stupid because it assumes the worst of a person. Not everybody that used data have mal intent behind it and to equate telling people that women are different than men to neo-Nazis just poison the entire well. By the way, just don't ever go to Virginia anytime soon just to be on the safe side. A lot of Damore's arguments cite findings of so-called evolutionary psychology. I just love how you put evolutionary psychology in quotation marks. Imagine if a creationist just said the study of so-called evolution Everybody would just fucking laugh at their face. A study of so-called climate change. Again, people will fucking laugh at you. But for some strange reason, when it comes down to evolutionary psychology, you say so-called unironically. It's almost as if you're no different than your opposition. As a matter of fact, you guys want no gender at all, so I'm not uh, really surprised that you guys are creationists like that. A lot of Damore's arguments cite findings of so-called evolutionary psychology, which is based on the idea that our psychological traits are the product of the same natural selection that shaped early human evolution. Evolutionary psychology has been used to justify everything from rape to claims that certain group of people are inherently smarter than others. But that's the thing. Human groups on averages do in fact have different IQs. Blacks have an average of 85, while Jews as well as Asians have higher IQs than both blacks and whites. 
Keep in mind that I'm not saying that black people and anybody else are born dumb just because a group have a low IQ. There are many, many reasons why there are so many different group average IQs. A lot of the reasons why groups have different IQs all comes down to environment. If you're raised in an environment where resources are limited and that schools are bad, you're more than likely have a low IQ because of the environment. It's also worth mentioning that the testing methods to acquire IQ scores can also might be flawed. If a person is distracted during the IQ test, it will definitely affect the scores and the outcome of the score. Again, I am not justifying racism. I'm basically saying that groups have different averages among humans. Using vague scientific terms like prenatal testosterone to explain the extremely complicated issue of the gender pay gap reads like classic evolutionary psychology. Like I mentioned earlier, the argument that he made was basically that men and women have different life choices. That's all the fucking argument. And I'm repeating myself again and again and again until you get it through your thick fucking pussy. Yeah, I just grab her by the pussy. Of course, using science to justify male superiority goes back even further. I just love that you're claiming that the memo said that males are superior to women even though the article did not even state that. If you're gonna say that an article claims that males are superior to females, you must give ample evidence to prove that it actually says that. However, the memo that comes from the guy did not state that women are superior to men. To the people that are watching this video, if you don't really believe me when I say that the article does not say that men are superior to women, please, by all means, read the article and guess what? You'll find the exact same thing that I found, which is to say that it never claimed that. This whole video just relies on nothing but straw man and character assassination just to push an agenda to show how someone is sexist when they're not really sexist. Hippocrates wrote that women are less psychologically stable or more bluntly, hysterical. Freud and his peers posited that women's biology explained their inherent insanity. Can you please explain to me what do these old white dudes have to do with anything from that memo? Please, like what is your point of bringing out those old white dudes? Seriously. Now, in 2017, a senior software engineer at Google called it their neuroticism. Straw man, straw man, does whatever a straw man can. If you put a needle into a haystack. Look out, you'll find me some straw men. Seymour's logic, leveling the playing field for women is misguided. The candidates with the most desirable traits for high stress, technically demanding jobs, ahem, men, should be selected. You're absolutely right. The same guy who advocates for diversity, the same guy who advocates for people to be judged and hired by merit, no matter what race or gender, he is definitely saying that women should be prioritized last and men first. I swear, where in the heck are you getting these straw men? While the Google screed focused largely on gender, many of these same arguments have been used to justify racism. As much as this anti-diversity letter reeks of centuries-old junk science, it's important to emphasize that even today, women, non-binary people, people of color, and other minorities in STEM fields are still regularly confronted with bigoted attitudes wrapped in the guise of science. You heard that, folks. If you advocate for the idea that people should be higher based upon merit, you actually are advocating bigotry. I'm just done here. I just fucking done. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I wouldn't trade him for another black friend. Because black friends are rare, as you should be aware. He smiles like Richard Pryor, so just sit and stare. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler.